Look, they're going to be tough. They're going to have five good offensive linemen, probably a good tight end, and, and they're going to be able to run the football. I mean, that's really been a hallmark of the program for BC. Halfley getting some of his freshmen in. Emmett Moorhead, the quarterback. Freshman out of Woodside, California. That's a couple of completions here. First one was to Joseph Griffin. A couple of interceptions under a lot of pressure in the early portion of this season for Boston College. It's another redshirt freshman, Moorhead. He's got a lot of arm talent. He's complete to Dino Tomlin on the slant for a first down. First down and goal for Moorhead and the Eagles. Looks right, throws the slant, and that is caught. Joe Griffin, the true freshman, with his first career touchdown. Bodying up the defender, and then Evan Moorhead, good accurate throw. Big arm, and he also gets the ball out very quickly. Good presence in the pocket. That's a good-looking throw there, and it is wow. caught. What a catch by Dino Tomlin. I think he needs at least 15 touches in this game. Moorhead. Has some time. He's going to go deep, showing off that arm talent. Has a receiver that is caught, but incomplete. And, and this is a huge play in this game, just from a confidence standpoint for both your quarterback and your offense. Third down pass to the end zone. Moorhead incomplete. There is a penalty marker down. Now Tony Davis, the corner for Duke, may be called for the P.I. as... The throw is intended for the freshman Griffin again. Goes in motion, then comes back the other way, then shifts back to the left. Watch all this unfold here. And then he just puts his foot in the ground, turns the Jets on, and the guy who was supposed to be covered. The flowers coming down, but you got Joseph Griffin. He's got some height at 6'4 at the top of the screen. Moorhead locks it to the end zone. Has a man caught Griffin. Touchdown. Joe Griffin. Big score for Boston College. Absolutely beautiful pass. He threw up there to Joseph Griffin. He recognizes the height, puts it where the defender can't get it. Be real with yourself and, and talk about the injuries at the offensive line. It's just been, I mean, unbelievable how many they've had. There's his rookie quarterback right on the money to Zay Flowers. Duke showing pressure. Here they come. Moorhead off his back foot, lofting it for Griffin. Battle for the ball. He got it. What a catch by Joe Griffin. He was a thousand yard rusher last year. That was less than 300 this season. They go back to Flowers, angling toward the end zone. Spinning out of the tackle. What a drive for a touchdown. Just drove his body into the end zone. Can they clear everything out deep and allow him just a space and opportunity underneath? In the spin out of a couple of defenders, along with Dwayne Carter, he's he's the guy in the middle. Touchdown drive for BC on their last possession. How about Moorhead ducking away from that sack? And that is caught at the 45-yard line. What a catch. Played in a couple of games last year before red shooting. This is his first real, real competitive action as a BC Eagle, and he's on the hook here. He'll step out at the 36-yard line of Duke, escorted out by R.J. Oban and Shaka Hayward. You didn't like that. I loved it. Because <laughs> it worked. <laughs> now here's Moorhead, wafting it into the end zone again, looking for Joe Griffin, and he's got it. Touchdown. Joe Griffin having a night. His fourth touchdown pass tonight. Confident in the pocket, he knows where he's going the whole time. Damian Franklin told me takeaways preached every day. It's the first thing they do after warm up. They have zero here tonight. This is a frustrated D. Yeah, and they forced eight the last time out against Miami, a program record none tonight. How about that run for Emmett Moorhead? He's at the top of your screen in the formation. They need three. Pressure comes, Moorhead lofts it, and Gill dives to make the catch. And a flag flies in on the hit from Cyrus Fagan. Moore shows pressure, four-man rush. Moorhead toward the end zone for a touchdown. Zay Flowers, 17 yards out, and Boston College is on the board. Let's watch the conversation going on between Tanner Engel 
and Derek Pitts. Zay Flowers comes across the screen, crosses the face of Pitts. Great throw by Emmett Moorhead because of all the shuffles around them, not trying to do too much. Moorhead to the air on first down from the 25. He throws a dart to the sideline to Zay Flowers, 16 yards out to the 41. The clock will a competent quarterback. One timeout left. Moorhead escapes pressure somehow. And with his legs, he slides down just outside the 35. Dancing his way into a third down and six for BC. Flowers back on the field. Pressure comes. Flowers underneath, across the middle. And Flowers down the sideline for a touchdown. He is electric. 35 yards to the house. With all due respect to Mel, boy, Zay Flowers is as good as it gets. The, uh, Mel, there ain't there ain't eight guys better than this. Just nice blocking up the sideline. Moorhead down the middle, complete to Gill to the 30-yard line, 16 yards through the air. If you can keep Emmett Moorhead in the pocket, that's where he's been most effective. Second down and 10. He's in the pocket, and now he's flushed on the run to the sideline, and it's caught by Tomlin. Inside the 30, another contested catch for Dino Tomlin. The football in the air. Watch Emmett Moorhead as he rolls out and then throws the ball up. I mean, Devin Boykin's in great position. Tomlin just bodies him out of the way. Austin College opting not to take a timeout here either. Clock's still running. Inside of 50 seconds, on third down, Moorhead down the middle complete. Takis again. And watch out for Joe Griffin, bottom of your screen, six foot four freshman, a red zone threat. He's got a great connection with Moorhead. From the two, pressure comes, Griffin's way, and Griffin hangs on for a touchdown. First catch of the game. He had two touchdowns last week against Duke. And it was right in that same end zone, to your point, Roddy, where we watched them go to work. A lot of football to be played. Pressure coming once again. Moorhead steps up, and this pass is right on the money. Zay Flowers down the sideline. A big chunk broken off for BC. Here's Moorhead. Fires this ball, and this pass is caught down the sideline, able to bring it in. It's Johnson. Third and two. They can get a first down right at the five. Moorhead out on the edge to the end zone. Touchdown, Zay Flowers for the Eagles. Number four, Zay Flowers continues to get it done. Here's a little whip route. Right into the paint. One more time for number four on senior night, no less. Played a lot better against Wake in the loss last time out. But BC, they're playing like it is their bowl game. Deep ball, Moorhead, flag is out, caught. Flowers ran under it. A marker came out, and they marked him out just inside the 30. Well, the out and up, and just hanging on. Tries the sideline. Over the shoulder grab. It can only be one man. Zay Flowers. To take some hits early, but to continue to fight. To get it to Flowers on first and goal, and he takes it into the end zone for the BC touchdown.